Hey guys, welcome to episode four of the weekly video series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you one of the best tactics to increase your organic reach and visibility using a tactic commonly referred to as keyword spread. Now, what exactly is keyword spread? In its simplest terms, it's an SEO strategy centered on building out content that ranks for loads of traffic generating keywords. Now, the term loads is really relative to the niche you're in. It can be writing articles that rank for dozens of different keywords. It can be writing articles that rank for hundreds of keywords. Or in some spaces, you can produce content that ranks for thousands of different keyword variations. But rather than me just talk about it, let me just show you a few quick examples so you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the first example we'll look at, the wire cutter. They review different technology, gears and gadgets. Uh, if we look at one of their articles on their site, it is a review looking at the best Wi-Fi routers out there. Very in-depth post. These guys produce great content. Uh, if we go over to Ahrefs here, look in the organic search top pages report, we can see all the articles on the site that are driving the most organic traffic. Here is that article we just looked at. It's targeting best Wi-Fi router as its main keyword. Ranks number three for that keyword. It gets 27,000 visits. But you can see here on the left that it also ranks for almost 5,000 other keywords. And we can see all of those here along with volume and different metrics. And then if we want to drill into this piece of content and see how much traffic they are uh, potentially getting from it. We click the overview and that'll bring us in here. You can see for this URL, uh, Ahrefs is telling us that it gets, uh, this target URL gets around 68,000 organic visits a month, which is just insane for one piece of content. Okay, so another example, if we come over to the Nerd Wallet website here, you know, these guys write a bunch of great uh, content on like finance related subjects. Uh, one of the articles on their site talks about the best credit cards of 2017 really well formatted in-depth uh, review post of looking at all those different credit card options again if we come over to the top pages in the organic search section of Ahrefs we can see that uh, it is one of their top tra organic traffic driving pieces of content it ranks number one for best credit cards which gets 131,000 monthly searches and then they also rank for over 1300 other keywords and again you can see all the data here now, if we drill in, drill in a little bit further on this article, come up and just click the overview, it'll bring us into this page. And for that individual URL, we can see that it brings in about 124,000 monthly organic visits. Again, insane. Okay, so those were pretty extreme examples of keyword spread, but the same principle can really be applied to any website in any niche. And not only can it be used to boost the organic reach and visibility of your existing content, you can also use it to identify keyword gaps and generate hundreds of content ideas for your website. And we're going to learn how to do both of those things right now. Okay, we'll be using Ahrefs for this tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is identify quick win opportunities for your website. And specifically, what I'm talking about here is looking for ways to increase the keyword spread and organic visibility of content that is already ranking for certain keywords on your site. This is really the lowest hanging fruit. Now, the fastest way that you can do that is navigate over to Ahrefs, enter your domain into the Site Explorer here. And then once you've done that, navigate down to Organic Search and hit the Top Pages Report. And what this is going to do is show all the articles on your site sorted by uh, the, num the amount of organic traffic that they are driving. You can see over here on the left hand side, we can always also see the number of keywords that are driving traffic to each of the articles. Now, the key here is we just want to work one URL at a time. So if we look at an example here on my site, we can see uh, this article here, how to promote your blog post, uh, targets the top keyword that it's going after is or term is how to promote your blog, which gets about 1600 uh, monthly searches. And you know, it says position five, but it's actually position four now. But the interesting thing to note is if you look over here on the left hand side, you can see that 172 other keywords are driving traffic to this post. And you can quickly see all these terms by just hitting the drop down here and expanding that out. And it'll return all of the keywords along with the position, volume, uh, estimated traffic and a few other metrics. Uh, you can just keep expanding this out further and further and further in order to view all of the keywords. 
Now looking at this 172 keywords for a single article, that is a really healthy keyword spread, but I still think there's opportunity to do better here. So the first step I'm going to take in order to find some additional uh, keywords to add and target with this article is I'm going to head over to a handy free tool called LSI Graph. If you haven't heard of it before, essentially what you do is you just enter in your target search term and it'll spit out a bunch of contextually relevant keywords uh, that you know Google deems to be relevant or related to this top search term that you entered. And these are great long tail keyword variations that you can then incorporate into your article or even generate new articles uh, to target. And as you can see here, they say that Google has confirmed that by using more LSI keywords, latent semantic indexing is what that stands for. But basically it's saying by adding more contextually relevant keywords into your article, uh, you will typically rank better for a larger number of keywords. So once I've ran that report in LSI graph, I will come back over to uh, my keywords tab here. And what I do is I just have keywords volume and I paste in all the keywords that my article is currently ranking for that you can see back over in this report. I export those, paste them in here along with their volume. Then I dump in all of the keywords that I found from LSI graph. And then the, the final step that I do to really build this out is I go back over to Google and I start looking for the other articles that are ranking on the first page for that same uh, main keyword, how to promote your blog. So if you see here, the one ranking in number three above mine, start blogging online. So I'll go over and I'll drop these guys into Ahrefs as well. And then I can immediately see that their competing article targeting the same term is actually ranking for 136 keywords. And again, I can just look at all of those. There's gonna be a lot of overlap here, but often there will be some golden nuggets that you haven't really optimized your article around. So I'll just scroll through, I'll export all of those keywords. And then what I will then do is come back over to my keyword tab here, and I'll start dropping those keywords in, pasting them underneath the ones that I had from my article in LSI graph. And I will repeat this same process for, you know, most of the other articles on the on the first page so that I get a long list of contextual keywords. Once I've pasted all of those in, then I will just remove all of the duplicates. And this will remove a lot of the keywords because there is a ton of overlap, but you will be left with a long list of contextually relevant keywords that you can then go back to your article, sprinkle it through the copy, and then also incorporate potentially new sections into your article to better target those keywords. And you can just repeat that process for all of the articles on your site really that are ranking uh, within within the top 10 on Google. And you can see that quickly by looking across at your articles that in the top pages report, and you can see all of the keywords, the main keywords you're targeting and where they rank. So just go through anything that's in the top 10, go to those articles and just start building out these long lists of uh, contextual keywords to then incorporate into, um, into back into your article to really, really blow out that keyword spread and maximize your organic visibility with that article. Okay, so that's a simple way to find quick ways to boost the keyword spread on your existing content. But you can also use this strategy to find keyword gaps and new content ideas for your site as well. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to just use the same domains that you'd previous an previously analyzed or even just go in back into uh, Ahrefs here and you can see in the same organic search area, if I click competing domains, it's just going to give me a long list of websites that are competing for uh, the same keywords that I am. So as I scroll down this uh, list of competitors here, I can see my friend here, Matt Woodward. Uh, he actually competes with me in some areas. So maybe I'm interested in having a look at uh, what he's up to. So I'll just click the overview uh, tab here. And then, uh, you know, it'll bring me through to an overview of his site. And then again, I'll just navigate to the top pages report. And then looking at this section, I'll be able to see all of the articles that are driving the most organic traffic to Matt's site.
and there's a couple ways you can play with this data. You can sort it by articles getting the most traffic. I also like to look uh, and sort by keywords so that I can see which specific articles on his site have the greatest keyword spread. Because uh, as we export this data, it's just going to give us more keywords and things to work with um, when we're building out our own content strategy. So I'll just move through here and I'll just look for articles that uh, you know are, are targeting keywords that I'm interested in going after. And, and immediately I can start seeing like, uh, competitor backlink analysis is one, uh, you know, free SEO tools is another one, ways to monetize your blog, you know, there's just a bunch of great articles and potential topic ideas, how to start a successful blog, this is a keyword that I actually found while doing my keyword gap analysis in episode two. So I'll just go through these articles uh, as an example, just looking at this one again, I'll just expand all of the keywords that this uh, specific article is ranking for. And then I'll, I'll pull probably five to 10 articles for each of my competitors. And then I'll look at five to 10 competitors as well. And so what that'll give me is dozens of new topic ideas along with a full set of contextually relevant keywords to target within each article. Now, just to show you exactly what this might look like is if I come over to this same keyword tab and you know, you just start adding tabs for different keywords. So you can see here, this is, uh, this is Matt right now. Uh, you can see his couple articles that I'm interested in competing with uh, that are targeting keywords that I want to go after. So here's that article that we just looked at in, um, in Ahrefs here. So if we come over, I have exported all of the keywords that article is ranking with along with the search volume data. Now this aligns perfectly with the keyword gap analysis that I just mentioned from episode two. Uh, if we look at my keyword blueprint that I'm building out here, you see all the keywords. Here's that how to start a successful blog, the primary keyword with its volume. But you can see that I'm starting to pull in all of the secondary keywords that I also want to target uh, with that article to add context and really blow out my keyword spread. So I'm just pulling those secondary keywords directly uh, from the keywords that you know, Matt's article is ranking for right here. And then you can see here, here's his URL. So that's really how I go about yeah, really expanding on my seed keyword list, building out a ton of secondary keywords and making sure that I'm able to maximize the keyword spread and the number of semantic keywords uh, for each article that I publish, which helps me maximize the potential organic reach of every single thing I post. Okay, so that's it for the episode. You now know how to increase keyword spread for new and existing articles, as well as find dozens of new topic ideas with just a few minutes of work. So until the next video, have a good one.